Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire Service. We are talking Lackawanna College Cross Country. Jeremy Popiel joining us. He is the men and women's cross country coach. And uh, Jeremy, let's talk a little bit about your season thus far here in the fall. How are things going there at Lackawanna College? Uh, things are going well. Things are going well. For our first season here back at Lackawanna, you know, we're really excited. we got a good group of kids that are really dedicated to the sport. And, uh, you know, they've really put in the work and the time so far for us to really kind of reestablish ourselves in, uh, in collegiate cross country, especially in this area. Let's talk a little bit about your coaching background. Uh, take us through, uh, you know, where you've been and what you've done. And, uh, of course, uh, trying to have some positive influence there on your athletes. Yeah, absolutely. So I started uh, I started coaching high school cross country for the varsity level about four years ago uh, with Forest City Regional. Uh, I started there, and you know, every year I tried to uh, you know you know kind of improve a little bit um, from season to season. You know, my first season at Lackawanna, or excuse me, my first season at uh, at Forest City Regional. You know, our biggest accomplishment wasn't exactly our wins, but it was the fact that we were able to develop state qualifiers. And you know, from my first year in 2013. Up until my last season uh, in 2016, you know, we were able to have a state qualifier every year. You know, we were lucky enough that we had a uh, PIAA uh, single A District 2 champion. Um, and then on top of that, you know, I was fortunate enough that I was able to uh, to coach track and field at a few different districts in the area as well. Um, in 2013, I, I coached for uh, Lackawanna Trail where, uh, you know, I our first season there, we went three and two. Our second season, we went two and three. And the biggest thing there is that we were just kind of reinventing a culture. Uh, and then, you know, after 2014, uh, I departed Black Water Trail. And for the last two seasons, I've been at uh, Carpenter area where, you know, there we've been able to develop uh, state qualifiers as well as District 2 champions uh, for double A, whether it be in uh, whether it be in the hurdles, whether it be in middle distance or even distance. So in this area, I've been involved for about uh, about five years now, and now going into my you know my sixth season, uh, coaching wise, and I'm fortunate enough to be up at the collegiate level now. Let's talk about some of the uh, student athletes you're able to to get there at Lackawanna College, and and first on the women's side, let's talk about uh, athletes and and some improving times as the year has gone on here. Her name is Molly Palmer, and she is the epitome of hard work and perseverance. Um, her first meet, Molly hasn't ran a cross-country meet since 2015. Uh, she approached us about running. She had a little bit of skepticism, but, you know, we were confident that we could get her going. Her first meet, she started in around 42 minutes, and uh, we've had three meets since the beginning of the season so far, leading up till now. And within those three meets, we got Molly from 42 minutes and dropped her down into the 33-minute range um, for, for what the 6K now at the college level for women's running. Well, incredible improvement there in such a short time. How about over on the guy side? Talk about uh, what kind of athletes you have there. Absolutely. So we have uh, our two core guys that we have. We have Nicholas Pettinato, who comes from Point Pleasant, New Jersey, short, a short town uh, beach boy. And uh, we have uh, Peter Tomasetti, who is a local kid. We got him from Western Wayne. As well as a newcomer, a walk-on, we have uh, John Palumbo, who's from... Uh, he's from the Goldsboro area. He's a North Pocono graduate. And, uh, you know, John had a little bit of learning, of a learning curve coming from, uh, from being a cyclist and, and transitioning into cross country. But Peter and Nick have been more of natural runners. And again, I mean, their, their effort and their perseverance through these different types of workouts, just seeing a whole new style of training than what they're used to, they've really been impressive in what they've been able to do. Um, again, you know, Peter, I, I believe his first race he came in, he was at uh, 32 minutes, 59 seconds. And again, within a two-week span, we were able to drop him down about a minute and a half. Uh, he's down to, you know, a 31, 34 now uh, for, for an AK race. And Nicky, Nick Pettinato, man, that kid, we might as well call him Flash with the, with the way that he runs. Because he started off his first AK. He came in at 29 minutes and 52 seconds. And now we got him down to 29, 11. And our, our main objective for, for all of our runners now is to – really get them below, uh, especially for Peter and John, to get them below that 30-minute mark. And for Nick, we want to try and get him into the low 28-minute range, 27-minute range, and kind of build there as we as we start to go into the, let, the latter stages of our season, uh, especially leading up to the Region 19 Championship race. We're talking Lackawanna College Cross Country here on the John Mandola Show, and uh, let's talk, Jeremy, a little bit about uh, this weekend, what's going on. 
So this weekend we have a, uh, a pretty large uh, invitational race that we're going to down in Philadelphia. We're uh, going to be competing in the Jack St. Clair Memorial Invite, which is at the Belmont Plateau. Um, it's a very challenging course. It's a, it's a lot of hills, but fortunate for us in our area, you can't go 15 feet without finding a hill. So I think our guys are going to be pretty conditioned with that. Um, you know, we're going to see a, a good mix of competition from a lot of schools, not just schools that are within the NJCAA, which is the governing body for junior colleges, but we're going to see a lot of NCAA schools that are going to be competing as well, which is going to be great for us because now we're going to be able to see different types of competition, not just within our Region 19 and the junior colleges, but now we're going to be able to see it overall, which is going to be good for these guys because ultimately our, our goal is to prepare them to go on to those NCAA schools. So for them to kind of see the competition that's out there and where they stack up, I think it's going to be excellent for them. Jeremy Popeil, the head coach for cross country at Lackawanna College, want to thank you for your time and uh, continued John, success, yep. okay? Hey, I really appreciate it, John. Thank you for the time. Lackawanna College Falcons cross country on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire Service.